Hi everyone, welcome back to these vectors, this last section of it with relative velocity. So let's look at this. A motorboat traveling 4 meters per second east encounters a current traveling 3 meters per second north. What is the velocity of motorboat relevant to the Earth? Alright, so this one isn't too bad at the beginning. So we have this motorboat that is trying to go to the east like this. And we see that it is going 4 meters per second. But the current is going to be pushing it up, going like this, 3 meters per second. And since uh, we're looking for how fast it's going with the current, we're going to look for this resultant vector here. And we know this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, so we know it's going to be going 5 meters per second. And we can find what this angle is by doing 10, negative, uh, Inverse of tan, 3 divided by 4 equals theta. And when we put that into our calculators, we get 3 divided by 4. Uh, 36.87. 36.87 degrees. So then we can say 5 meters per second at 36.87 degrees. Part B. If the width of the river is 80 meters wide, how much time does it take the boat to travel from shore to shore? Again, there's a few ways to do this, but as I said, I want you guys to start thinking about components and using components. So even if this isn't intuitive, this is uh, going to help you later on. So let's find everything that's going in this x direction. So we know the velocity in the x direction is going to be 4 meters per second. We know the displacement in the x direction is going to be 80 meters and now we're looking for the time t all we're doing is velocity is equal to displacement over time and we know the velocity is 4 displacement is 80 and now we're looking for time and time is going to equal 20 seconds so that's important to know even though we know this boat isn't going to be traveling directly across it's going to move something like this we know since it's moving 4 meters per second this way, it's going 80 meters this way, we can just use everything the x to find the time. Okay? Okay, how far does the boat travel downstream before reaching the shore? So what this is asking for is how far does it go downstream? So it's going to, the boat's going to be moving something like this, so how far downstream is it going? And it's asking us for the displacement in the y. So again, now if we're looking for displacement in the y, we want to find different things about in the y direction. We know this boat's going to be moving 3 meters per second in the y direction. And we know it's going to be in the water for 20 seconds. Now we use these pieces of information to find this displacement. Last in the y equals displacement in the y over time. 3 is equal to displacement in the y over time of 20 seconds. And we get displacement in the y is equal to 60 meters okay again we want to break things up into its components and then find it in that component form that's the easiest way to do these problems there's more complicated ways but that's the easiest way to do it. okay a captain of a boat wants to cross north 50 meters and end up directly across from where she started Okay, so the boat's going here, and he wants to go directly across, even though there's a current. The boat can only travel 10 meters per second. The river is flowing with, this, uh, with a 5 meter per second current. So the current is going to the right over here, 5 meters per second. In which direction should the captain steer the boat to end up exactly across the river? So what we have to do with this problem, since she wants to go directly across, that means that with the boat, we have to steer it this some way this way so that it's able to go directly across. If we go straight, what's going to happen is it's going to push us al along with the current. So since this boat can only travel 10 meters per second, we want to point the boat in this direction going 10 meters per second. But how much in that direction? How much we want to put in that direction is we want to cancel out the current pushing us this way going 5 meters per second and make sure we're going in the other way with the speed of 5 meters per second and what's that going to do is that's going to cancel out the current. 
So now that we have this, I mean, let me just draw here. 10 meters per second, five meters per second. Now what we can do is we can find what this angle theta is. So I'm gonna use inverse sine, opposite over hypotenuse, and this is gonna give me a, a theta of, I believe, 30. Uh, 30 degrees so we can say 30 degrees and we can call this west of north Okay, also call it if, it, if this was zero degrees all the here would be 120 degrees so any of this any of these signs would be fine How long will it take to cross the river? Okay, so now this is important so if the boat is pointed this way, trying to go 10 meters per second, but, and this is five meters per second, and we know that this angle here is 30 degrees. We wanna know how long it's gonna take to cross, so this is the velocity in the y direction. We need to find what this velocity in the y direction is going to be. And now we can use Sokotoa, or we can use Pythagorean theorem to figure what, out what this is. So I'm just gonna do by is equal to the square root of 10 squared minus five squared. And this is gonna give us an answer of 8.66 meters per second. So we know the speed in the y direction is gonna be 8.66 meters per second. We know the displacement in the y direction is going to be 50 meters and now we can find what the time is all we're going to do now is velocity in the y equals displacement in the y divided by t velocity in the y being 8.66 displacement in the y being 50 and t do a little bit of algebra and we find that it's going to take 5.77 seconds Okay, so whenever it says directly across, remember we want to steer against the current and whatever it's going in the current's direction, we need to cancel that out with the same amount, okay? So that's the key when we're doing these directly across kind of problems. Okay, Jim is stuck on a tiny island that is being engulfed in flames. Oh, interesting. Cindy is trying to save him, but she needs to steer the boat so it goes directly across 150 meters, okay? She needs to get there in exactly 60 seconds so he doesn't burn. The stream pushes 10 meters to the second, uh, 10 meters per second to the east. So let's just kind of draw everything that's happening. All right, so this island here is burning. We have Jim here that's directly across from Cindy. Cindy's over here. So we need to go directly across, and we know it's 150 meters. We also know that the current is 10 meters per second to the east, and we know that she needs to get there in 60 seconds. So lots of things happening. So first question is, which way should the boat be traveling? Um, so there's a few things. There's a few things we need to do. So we need to find if the boat's gonna get across 150 meters in 60 seconds, how fast does she have to go in the y direction? So we know that the boat is gonna be directing itself this way, okay? So we know the boat's gonna be directing itself this way to fight against the current, but we don't really know the speed of it. However, if we're going directly across, we do know that Cindy has to direct it so it's 10 meters per second to the left to cancel out with the current. That being said, we need to find out what this velocity in the y direction is gonna be. Velocity in the y. And we have a little bit of information actually. We know that the boat in the y direction is gonna go a distance of 150 meters in the y direction. We know it has to get there in a time of 60 seconds and with those two pieces of information, we can find what the velocity in the y direction is. So we can do vy is equal to displacement y over t. 
and this is dy is equal to 150 divided by 60 and this is going to give us an answer of 2.5 meters per second so we know in order for Cindy to get directly across in 60 seconds she in the y direction she has to be going 2.5 meters per second so we know to go directly across she has to cancel out with the current so she has to go 10 meters per second this way and she has to go up 2.5 meters per second now that we have those pieces of information we can find the direction by finding that angle right there so I'm going to use 10 inverse and that's going to be opposite which is 10 divided by adjacent which is 2.5 and this is going to give me a certain angle opposite 10 divided by 2.5 and it's going to be 75.96 degrees so I'm going to say 75.96 degrees and this is going to be west of north Okay. If you wanted to do the angle, let's say, like this, finding this angle, we're just going to do 90 plus 75.96, and that's going to give us 165.96 degrees. That will give us the right answer as well. Uh, so the next question is, how fast does Cindy's boat need to go in the water? So that means, you know, we're, she's going to be booking it this way, and we want to find what this speed is going to be equal to. But now that we did all the hard work up here, that's not going to be too ha hard. All we have to do is Pythagorean Theorem. This is the resultant vector. So that's going to be equal to 10 squared plus 2.5 squared. And this is going to give us a speed of 10 squared plus 2.5 squared. 10.3 meters per second. All right, last question for this chapter. Two sailors are on a whale boat right here that travels at a speed of 10 kilometers an hour. They wish to cross a river that is two kilometers wide. Right, so this is two kilometers in the quickest time. The speed of the river is nine kilometers an hour to the north. So we know that the river is going nine kilometers an hour. Okay. What direction should they point the boat? Okay, so this is a bit uh, interesting. So again, the whale boat travels at a speed of 10 kilometers an hour. So they want to go, uh, they wish to cross the river uh, in the quickest amount of time. So if you want to go in the quickest amount of time, it doesn't, doesn't say directly across. If you just want to go in the quickest amount of time, that means you want to exert all your energy pointed in this direction right here. You want to exert all your interest uh, in this X direction right here. So you want to point the bow eastward. Okay, so I'm going to just put it eastward. And the reason for that is if you expend energy at all going this way or this way, what's going to happen is it's just going to help you move you more this side or this side. But the more energy you are able to expend this way, that means the faster you're going to be able to go to that side. So if you use that speed, so you're going to be going 10 kilometers an hour this way. And then the river is going to be pushing you up 9 kilometers an hour. And the question is, find the velocity that the boat moves relative to the ground. So now you're going this way and that way. And what you find... Now we find this resultant vector, and we're going to use Pythagorean Theorem to figure this out. That the speed is going to be 13.45 meters per second with the current. Okay, And then we're going to use tan inverse to figure out the angle. And that's going to give us an angle of 41.99 degrees. Okay. How far down the river do they travel before they reach the other side? Okay, how far down the river? So we're trying to go straight across. However, the river is going to pull us up, the current is. So we want to know how far up the river we go. So we're looking for displacement in the y direction. Okay, we know that the velocity in the y direction is going to be 9 kilometers an hour. 
and I guess that's all we really know. So before we do that, we need more information. So we have more information in the x direction actually. So we know that the displacement in the x direction is going to be 2 kilometers. We know the velocity in the x direction is going to be 10 kilometers an hour. And this way we can find the time. Velocity in the x equals displacement in the x over t. Velocity in the x is 10. Displacement is 2 and now we can find time and time is going to be 2 divided by 10 Which is going to give us 0 0.2 hours. So we know the boat's going to be in the water for 0 0.2 hours Now using that information we can put it over here T is equal to 0 0.2 hours and we can find this displacement So we can use velocity 9 is equal to displacement which we're looking for divided by time 0 0.2 and this will give us that the displacement is equal to 1.8 kilometers. Alright guys, hope you learned a lot during this lesson.